Let's talk about real time and with Superbase, we can do real time. So what is real time? Here, I got an application that I have created and I'm going to push online, okay? And in this application, you will be able to write messages and here those messages will be like in real time, like a chat, okay? So what I want to do here is to create first a table, a new table. And this table is going to be called posts, okay? And on this post, I will, be, I will have an ID, I created that, okay? And what I want to do, I want to actually had the model of my uh, message. So here we see that we've got a name. So I'm going to add a name and here is going to be a text. Okay. And then I will have a description. Okay. And here it will have a text also. So here I want to say it's not going to be nullable for both of them. We want to have some content and here we are. So I'm going to click on save. All right, I got my post table, but I didn't enable real time here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on database here. I'm going to go uh, on uh, the table post, which is here. And I'm going to click here. You see, we've got enable real time broadcast changes on this table to authorize subscriber. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to click on save. And when it's done, what I need to do is to go on authentication, on policies, and I need to add some, actually some policies to my table. So I'm going to click here on add a new policy. I will say that I will enable the read access to everyone and I don't need anything. So here I can select the role anon. So I'm going to click on review, save policy. So everybody will be able to select the post. Now I want to say that I want that everybody can be, um, actually a poster. So I'm going to click here on use template. Here we are. And I'm going to unzoom a little bit and I'm going to remove here authenticated. Okay. I'm going to put anon and I'm going to click on review. So now everybody on the post table will be able to get the messages and to insert them. But before we send our message, we need to have a look a little bit at the code. So what do I have here? I have an insert here that uh, actually is inserting the new message that I got up here. Okay. And what I do here, I'm pushing the message, of course, locally, if we've got data in return. So that's the first thing. Let's see if we can push messages into our post table. Okay, let's go. Let's say test, test. I'm going to click send. I'm going to update. And here we are. We've got test here. And if we look at our database, we've got a test down here also. So I'm going to delete this row. Let's say that now what I would like to do is when I put my, uh, actually my message here, I would like to him to appear here. So what I can do is, is to create a second function called fetch message that we can have down there and call it once I have sent my message. That's the first solution. And the second solution is of course to subscribe to the table post. So here with that code, with client.channel and here we are going to subscribe to a custom channel. So here it's going to be the name that I give. It can be anything. I can say on, so channel on, Postgres changes. I'm going to subscribe to any event here with the um, star on the schema public and on the table post. So I'm going to console log my payload here just to see if I got an answer, every time I'm going to push a message here, it is supposed to answer. So I'm back in my app. Now I'm going to say code with Guillaume and I'm going to type hello there and I'm going to click on send. And look at this. I got an answer from my subscribe and I got the message down there. So if we look here, we've got an answer from the table in real time because we enabled real time before and because we put this code, uh, client channel on, we are listening, we are subscribing down here to the, the table post that we've got here. And in real time, when there is some changes here, we can see that we are notified. So what I'm doing here, I'm pushing to my message list, okay, the new message on the payload. So this is why I got this message here. And if I'm getting back to my application, we can see that my message has been recorded. 
If you want to test this real-time functionality on my own database, you may go to superbase-realtime.netlify.app. Here you can try in real time to post messages and maybe you will see some other people posting messages at the same time.